Hey everyone, and welcome to the Sleepy Fox Yarn Podcast. Um, I am your host. My name is Holly. I live in North Carolina with my family. I am the desi- designer, dyer behind Sleepy Fox Yarn Podcast, and I have a co host apparently today. Hi. <coughs> Grumpy pants. So, (laughs) hello. This is a podcast not about kids grunting in the background. This is a podcast about um, crocheting, knitting, the yarn I'm hoarding, um, some shop updates, and just occasionally some other crafts and things I want to tell you about. Um, So, yeah, that is what's going on today. so welcome if this is your first podcast I normally don't look so dark and spooky but I am dark and spooky um <laughs> Sex life. oh my gosh Nick Whedon <sighs> seriously oh, yeah. husbands um so yes um it is Sunday September I think it's 30th September 29th and it is a very warm day here in um, North Carolina <sighs> I'm not sure if it is humid out it felt like it was gonna be humid out this morning yes Colin you want Coraline Coraline okay daddy can go put Coraline downstairs on the TV for you Nick Nick, can you put Coraline on for Colin? Daddy's gonna go put it on TV for you. Um, what was I saying? The weather. It is bright and sunny and warm. Too hot for fall, uh, in my opinion. <laughs> what I was going to do. Oh, I am not sure entirely what episode this is, but yeah, go watch Coraline, bud. Um, I'm not sure what episode this is, but, um, yeah. If you, this is your first time here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Hello. Um, (laughs) that reminded me of the corpse bride with the, 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 like the little stumpy guy. He's like, Hello, welcome to our home. And he has to try and he's like, (laughs) for a smile. (laughs) Hopefully that doesn't end up being a screenshot because that would look bad. Okay, so first things first, administration wise, I am running a making Christmas Mal for those who want to participate. The only requirement is it either has to be a Christmas gift or you are currently making something for Christmas. Yes, I know. We are not even in October yet and Halloween is right around the corner, but I have been gift making since June, July, trying to get a step up on my game so I can finish gifts so I can focus on things I really want to make during November, October, or November, December for me and my family and not gifts. So, we have quite a bit to show today. Um, that was the only thing. Oh, it is on Ravelry. Making Christmas Valens on Ravelry. Um, I know there was a big thing with people leaving Ravelry, so I don't know if that's why the participation level went way down on my Ravelry group. Um, but I'm thinking I might add a little forum section on my website. So, if you did leave Ravelry and don't plan on going back, I'm thinking I might do that. If that is something you guys are all interested in, let me know. Sorry, the kitty decided to join. Come here. Can we say hi? No. <laughs> yes, I smell a little funny because I got makeup on my face now. He's like, you smell different. Um. <laughs> So, yes, it's a really relaxed, um, oh my gosh, I'm getting so distracted today. 
gosh. Um, it's a super relaxed mal. Everything from FOs to chowder is all in one thread. I will pull prizes at the end. I think I said December 17th or something. Um, I may push that to Christmas Eve. So I don't know. Just whenever. Uh, so you can just post in there. But if you guys are interested in me opening up like a forum page on my website, so if you don't use Ravelry anymore, just let me know in the comments below. Um, so yeah. Anyways, now into the FOs. Sorry I'm getting distracted. Binks is sitting right here in front of me and he wants love. <laughs> yes, you want love. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four FOs, which I am still elated about one of them because it was on my needles forever, forever. And I am so happy I finished it. So first things first, my first finished object, the one that I am the most excited about. Ah! I finished my flag sweater, even though it's not for me, it's for my brother-in-law. Um, so I did the Flax by Tin Can Knits. It is a free, um, pattern on Ravelry and this hair is driving me bananas. I took a shower and my hair just wants to go, especially my bangs, like they kind of have a mind of their own and just, so anyways. I knitted the flax sweater for my brother-in-law. It has not been washed, it has not been blocked or anything like that. As you can see, like right around the neckline, it's kind of puckering a little. I haven't blocked, washed anything. Um, so the I did use paint box yarns for this. I used an acrylic, 100% acrylic yarn for this because I didn't know what kind of upkeep they wanted. They have three kids. It's going to get messy, I'm almost sure of it. So I figured I didn't want to make it a um, sweater that was going to be needing extra care, like a wool sweater or, you know, where you would prefer not to wash and dry it in the washer and dryer. So this is Paint Box, Yar Paint Box Yarns Simply Erin in Buttercup Yellow. And this purple is really blowing out. It is, uh, it looks m much more blue on camera, but it is purple. Um, so this one is pansy purple. <sighs> it always happens every time. I could not burp for a week, but as soon as I podcast, a burp every time. Okay. So yes, that is that my flax. I did do the garter panel, the garter stitch panel down the shoulders to the wrists. Um, I did make a size 3X and this ended up being bigger than the 3X by like four inches. Um, so it's gonna be a nice roomy sweater for him. Um, so yeah, this beast took me, I started it in July, finished it in September. It took me a long time, guys, a very long time. But you know what? I am happy with it, even though it did end up a little bigger. And yes, there are mistakes. But this is my very first knitted garment, and I am ecstatic that I finished it. <laughs> Binks is like literally just like pulling himself on the floor, like laying sideways and just like pulling. <laughs> so lazy. <laughs> So that is the first FO. I am so excited that I finished it. You guys have no idea, no idea how excited I am. I have like all my gift knits in like one bag. I don't know if I showed this last time, but I did finish this washcloth by chance. Um, I don't know if I showed it as an FO last time or if it was a work in progress, but I'll show it anyways. Um, this was a washcloth I made. I have been making like washcloths here and there in between the specific knits. So if I do run out of time, I still have something to give to somebody. So this one is super cute. I use the grandma's favorite dishcloth. Um, 
I can't remember the colorway. I know I put it in the last episode. So yeah, I will link everything down below. So next up, another whip that I've been working on that took me about a month, uh, maybe a month and a couple weeks to finish. Socks, we have socks. So this is socks for my father-in-law. I don't know why I'm getting football updates, but my phone is getting NFL football updates. Nick must have done something. There we go. Um, so this is the sock I made for my father-in-law. So basically I asked what length he typically preferred for sock, like leg length. And they said just above the ankle. So I just did a shorty sock for his athlete. <laughs> um, so this is just a standard two by two cuff. I used the heel flap and gusset from the morning coffee socks by Kay of the crazy sock lady podcast. And then on the bottom, I just did normal stockinette stitch sorry please excuse my cuticles I am terrible with my nails um and then along the top I still did the two by two rib so I wanted these socks to have extra stretch in them because my father-in-law has issues with his feet swelling so I wanted to make sure the socks weren't going to be too constricting and I wanted them to have a lot of stretch. I tried these on my husband's feet and he, I believe, is a foot size bigger. And even he said that they were comfortable. There was some nice stretch to them. They weren't um, too tight. So I figured that's perfect for my father-in-law. So, yes, that is my last FO. Oh, yarn, hello. Um, did I even talk? Yeah, I talked about the yarn on the last one. So this is... Um, Biscotti Yarns. The colorway is Butterfly Wings, but I will tell you right now, if you go to look for this yarn, you will not find the same color. It is completely different. The blues on the Butterfly Wings that are being sold in her shop right now are much more like sky blue than this tealy blue. Um, so yes. It's not the same color because I've looked it up because Nick decided he liked this yarn so much that he wanted something in this yarn. And as I was finishing up this last pair, he actually came to me, he's like, oh, those are mine, right? And I'm like, uh, no, I've been asking you if you've been wanting socks and you keep telling me, no, don't make me socks. I don't want socks. And now that there's a pair that's ready and done in a color where you like, you want the socks now? He's like, yeah. I'm like, I have been asking him for months, months for him to ask me for something. No. The, the one thing he does ask for is gloves. Literally one of the hardest things to knit. Gloves. Do you know how finicky it is to knit little finger holes? That's why you don't see glove patterns. You see mitten patterns. But anyways, I will go off. I will stop going on my tangent. <laughs> um... So yes, this is Butterfly Wings by Biscotti Yarns. It's an 80-20, so 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon, and it is super silky to work with. I love this, working with this yarn. It is beautifully, like, it's just beautiful. It's super soft, it's super squishy, and the colors are amazing. So, yes, that is the one of my FOs. The next one is this bad boy. So <laughs> another FO that I did that you will see next, I started a beanie for my sister, which this is actually a really small beanie. <laughs> like, but I have a lot more hair than my sister. My hair is down. This is meant to be a bun beanie. Oh my God, I look terrible. Um, so this is a bun beanie. I just want to make sure I didn't get makeup on the inside of it. Well, I got to wash it anyway, so it doesn't matter. <sighs> this is a bun beanie for my sister. Apparently, I made it too small, a little bit. 
but she has a smaller head than me and she has thinner hair than me so I'm hoping this will fit so what ended up happening is I started a hat for her and then I lost one of the needles and I was like well crap now I can't finish it because I lost the needle so I started this one in the meantime and kind of just made something up as I went just wanted something with some texture but it wasn't too complicated so this one was made with this yarn actually right here uh red heart soft in the off-white colorway um I figured you know what I bought it I'll use it so there's no pattern to this I just whipped this bad boy up and went on my merry way crocheting away um which is typically what I do with crochet I typically just make something up and do it um so that is my third fo now my fourth fo was the hat that <laughs> I lost the needle to which then I found it halfway through when I was making the other beanie and that is this one so this is a knitted a bun beanie and it looks really funny because it's super skinny um but i promise you it does fit this one fits so it actually fits really well it isn't too tight around the head okay bangs do something so as you can see it fits and there is a nice hole at the top for a bun beanie um because that was one thing she said she wanted her one big gift that she wanted was the house divided blanket that you can find on etsy and so they're big football fans and her husband is a vikings fan and my sister is a cowboys fan so that's one thing she really wanted but as much as I know she wants that blanket, me and my, uh, what is it called? And my track record with uh, graph cans getting done is a big fat zero. At, hey, no. No, you cannot lay on the dyed yarn. I do not think so. So this is the, let me see. Ravelry for some reason has not been working on my phone. I don't know why, but I'm pretty sure this is called the Messy Cable Bun Beanie. Um, it is another free pattern on someone's blog. Um, it was super simple. I did totally mess it up. Don't get me wrong, I did. Um, so the cables were supposed to be leaning the other direction. <laughs> But I screwed it up on the first one and I was like, oh shoot, do I go back and do redo it? Or do I just make them all go the other way? So I totally just made them go the other way. What are you doing? So I totally just made them go the other way and yeah. And I did finish it off instead of doing the knitted version of the cast off. I, or like doing the elastic, which in a way, it ended up being too tight the way I did it. So I did just a one over one cast off, which is not stretchy at all. Um, but it gave you the nice two loops on top that you're used to seeing during crochet. So then I went in with the crochet hook and I single crocheted the elastic in. So oh, I still have like mascara on my knuckle. So yes, that is that. And then this is the uh, Lion Brand ice cream yarn. It's actually like, a, I think a baby yarn. It's a DK weight um, and this is the colorway coffee. And my sister really loves um, neutrals. So this I felt was perfect. It kind of has a nice gradient in there. So. I really think she's gonna like it. Yes, you're so big. You're so cute. He's just sitting here on my lap now. Yes. You're my boy. So, 
Next up is something I'm working on for my niece, my baby niece. The baby niece. Um, crazy me was like, you know what? Let's make a baby sweater. I was like, I just knitted a full grown ass man sweater. Like I can totally handle a baby sweater. So I have the Minima Knit, the nap time sweater. This is a paid pattern. Um, I'm blowing out, sorry. It is a paid pattern. Um, I can't remember how much, but it is paid for. Um, and basically that's what it looks like. I was running out of ink and that's why it's kind of blue. Um, so yeah, that's it. And I am also using another paint box color. This is um, paint box baby DK. Um, and I believe this is the dusty lilac color, but the color number is 745. Um, these come in 50 gram balls. It is 45% acrylic, 55% nylon. So it is extremely soft, which is something I really wanted. Um, and my legs are numb because I'm sitting on the floor. So here is where I am at so far. I have something happened here where my counts got off. So I have to go back and fix that. Um, but here is, it's kind of separated like this. So instead of doing the typical one by one rib, I have come to, since I've been practicing it more, it's gotten better. Um, sorry, I'm trying to hide this stinking yarn tail it's huge um instead of doing just a normal one by one rib I did a one by one twisted rib which luckily I've been practicing so hopefully this will fit over baby's ginormous head because I feel like all babies have ginormous heads when they're born compared to their body they're just they're huge so I did a one by one rib twisted rib with a German twisted cast on and I am working on the raglan increases still. Like I said, I, somehow I ended up off with the stitch count. Like one side definitely has more than the other. I don't know what is going on, but my lip just like decided to get caught on my tooth. Like, <laughs> my cat's over there chewing on his foot oh gosh you have to see this <laughs> cats are crazy cats are totally so that is my next whip as this is pretty much working it in I would say I did the whole ribbing one night sitting with Emma while she was doing her schoolwork and then this I did basically all of the raglan once I started watching The Masked Singer which is a really great show you should check it out it is good um I'm really surprised that I got I think I got like four right three or four um I got okay I won't spoil it I was gonna say who I got but if you haven't seen it because there's only there's one complete season out and they're on season two so yes you should watch it that's what I've been watching lately and it is really good so that is that project um, yeah, and I feel like I'm behind schedule because I wanted to get everyone's gift knits done by October, which I still have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people still to make for, and I'm just like, <sighs> I'm behind, way behind. But luckily, these next projects they're all gonna be smaller, so hopefully, they won't take as long. So this next one, I did show this 
a while ago and I kind of just put it off to the wayside because I started too many projects um so I'm going to make my niece a cowl beanie set um which this is a mess right now because I am partially through a row and I still have all these strings so I am going to make like a this is significantly shorter than what it was before like it was a monster so this is going to eventually be a cow so it will like scratch up and it's going to be um, blue gingham and I'm not using a pattern for this I'm just kind of winging it um so yeah I went from having like super massive pieces to this which I totally didn't count so I'll have to pull those two, two stitches out on the chain so yes this is going to be a gingham cowl and I have hardly done any work on it I started this last night again um, so the dark blue is royal red heart super saver and then the light blue is delft blue red heart super saver and then the white i believe is just white um yeah white red heart super saver so which i should wrap this white up so i'm going to be working on those two projects mainly for the next couple weeks hopefully i have finished them within the next couple weeks because time is winding down like it is going to be October in two days, which means Christmas is two months away. That's not very long considering it takes me about a month to do a pair of socks, which I do plan on starting another pair. Um, I already chose the yarn. It's, um, one of the nitpicks colorways that just came out this year. I was going to use it for Emma, but I have someone else in mind who I'm not going to say. So it's a secret. So that project may not be shown um, just because they are an avid watcher and I know they are so I probably will not show that one because it will be a complete surprise so yes that let's see where I'm oh my gosh I'm only at 27 minutes that went by way faster than I was expecting so life stuff um, life stuff I did start a Facebook group um, for oh no hey 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 no no you're gonna break that stuff up there don't do that um I did start a Facebook group I believe it's called the sleepy fox sleepy fox yarn podcast group um I'm gonna try to do Facebook on there because like I said, it seems like Ravelry at No. No. Don't be a naughty kitty. Um, I did start a Facebook group because like I said, the Ravelry participation has gone way down. Especially for like I mean I normally don't get a lot of participation during cows and mouths and stuff like that, but this is like dead like dead so i started a facebook group um if you would like you can join it it is a closed group so you do have to get approval but i mean it's basically just so it's not like anybody can join you know i don't want creepers getting in so maybe i'll ask a question like where did you hear about this group and literally like YouTube Instagram whatever um, just to kind of keep some of the creepers out because I know people like to post things about their kids and what they made them and pictures of them so I don't want creepers and lurkers in there um, but it's pretty much an open-ended group kind of just hang out chat a lot like Randy's group I actually love her group <laughs> I love all the stuff she posts um 
you know, probably no self-promotions, really. Um, yeah, I think that would probably be it. Like, and no political stuff. I don't... People apparently... Not everybody, but it seems like the majority of people cannot discuss politics without things getting heated and drama and I am a no drama llama I don't want the drama I mean I like hearing other people's drama but I don't want to be a part of it I don't I watch from afar and if this is my group I can't do that I have to be the facilitator so if you want to be a drama llama you got to take that somewhere else um so yeah you can join that group um, let me know if you guys would be interested in a forum on the website so you don't have to say you don't have Facebook. Um, let me know. But, exciting stuff. I'm going to be trying to do Vlogtober again this year. I know last year I was just like, oh, I kind of burned out on it because I was trying to post every day and that was a lot. So, I'm thinking I'm going to do every two to three days posting. So film for two to three days, edit it, put it up. That way it isn't filming, editing, posting every single day because that is a lot. I have two kids, I homeschool, I have a business, you know, I got animals. I got a husband who's like a child that I have to take care of too sometimes. Um, <laughs> just kidding, honey. Um, so it's, it's very hectic to do that every single day, but I do want to do it. And I know another reason was I was like, my house isn't like Instagram, Pinterest perfect. But you know what? Nobody's house is, like I said, I got two kids. I got animals. I got a husband. They are messy as hell. And I'll admit I can be messy too, especially when it comes to clothes and shoes. Like it's just a mess. But other than that, um, yeah, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't want to be judged because my house is messy. But real life, nobody's house is perfect unless they're anal and they're cleaning 24-7. And I just don't got time for that. No thank you, ma'am. Um, moving on. <laughs> so I will be trying to do Vlogtober this year um, and Vlogmas. I do want to do Vlogmas. I feel like everyone does Vlogmas and it's amazing and it's so Christmassy and it totally gives me in the Christmas vibe and mood. So I'm going to do Vlogtober, get everyone in the spooky mood, hence I wanted to feel spooky today and do dark makeup. Um, so yes, I will be doing Vlogtober and I've already started getting little snippets and stuff like that. <sighs> yes, excited for that. Um, other than that, I will be dyeing up some yarn today, I have some baking to do, so I am going to be a busy bird. And I have to say, the yarn that I bought from Randy is Binx's favorite yarn. And he constantly, it like he's, ch he's chewing on it right now. Eight. That's like his favorite yarn to chew on. Like he goes in and looks for that yarn. So maybe it's because he smells, I don't know, her cat. I don't know. But he just loves that yarn. Um, but yeah. So I have been reading a lot too. I've actually read six books. I'm on my seventh at this point. Six books um, in the last a little over a month. I've read six books and it is a series that starts with the first title is called Storm Witch. It's by uh... oh shoot. I know it's like D something, it's abbreviated, it's D something Noxa, N-O-X-A, or something like that. It is so good, guys. Oh my god. I flew through those books like it was nobody's business. The only, only criticism I have is if you are not someone that is great at visualizing characters, this book may drive you bananas. And there are a lot of typos <laughs> which drove me a little nuts it I feel like book three and four were the worst for typos but characters oh my god ever the from the first book like 
like I was telling Nick, I was like, it is so hard to visualize a character when they give you like two traits on their face. Like one girl, she wore glasses and was blonde. I was like, okay, what else? Like, so all I'm imagining is like blonde hair, invisible person with glasses. And I'm just like, I need to know eye color. I need to know skin color. I need to know, do they have a button nose, full cheeks, thin, like high cheekbone. Like I want to envision characters. And I mean, my husband was like, well, isn't that the point to like make up characters on your own? I was like, yes, but you can get a certain idea of what someone would look like, but your brain fills in the gaps. There was just far too many gaps for me in what these characters look like. Like, like the werewolf, right? Talked about him. He was big, but all werewolves are. What? What else? Does he have brown hair? Is he sh short, tall? Is he, does he have dark caramel color skin? mocha colored is he alabaster white is he give me something like it drives me nuts what color is his eyes emerald green frosty blue or she'll give you things like that where it's like sandy brown hair icy blue eyes okay well what color is he is he short like it just drove me nuts i am someone that i need at least the basics eye color hair color skin color if that's all you want to give me, fine. I can make up the rest. But when they say stuff like he has a spider tattoo and a mustache. What? 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 That's annoying. I'm sorry. I'm going on a tangent about at least describing your characters better. But other than that, the storyline was amazing. It was very fast paced. And it wasn't so fast that you felt like, whoa, they're rushing everything, which there were times it was, but it was because it was vital to the story. Like everything was happening so fast and they could never get ahead of it. And it was amazing. So yes, um, if you're interested in witches with powers and magic sucking demons and vampires and werewolves and if you're just totally into that fantasy vibe but in a modern setting which it is placed in Manhattan so very modern but not obnoxiously so I feel like there are some people that make they try so hard to make fantasy not old that they push the futuristic -y type stuff and I'm just like mm, mm, no um, but it was modern. It was believable in a way that you're just like, I get that. I can see how that makes sense. So yes, it is. So basically a synopsis, not a synopsis, book review, short story, I guess, version of it is a girl has powers that are new to the magic world the paranormal world she is an entirely new type of witch and because she is there she ends up becoming hunted by a paranormal basically like the u not the un um the cia of the paranormal world basically and she basically is trying to change the fact that she's not the only one and they don't deserve to be murdered and hunted down and killed because they're different or experimented on because they're different so it's really good I loved it and I'm actually moved on to another series it's called wolf witch at ah, ta ta no so it's by the same author and it's kind of a few months after everything that happens in Storm Witch. So this one is called Wolf Witch, which I'm starting. It's a little bit slower to get started, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I think I'm on, I'm like 33% into it. So I think I'm on a few chapters, like a, 
don't know, maybe nine, ten chapters. I'm not sure. I don't really pay attention. I look at the percentage amount because I read it on my Kindle because they're free on Kindle. <laughs> um, I read it there and they t normally give you like a percentage, like you're 33% done with your book, 40%. So yeah. Um, I've been watching The Masked Singer, reading Bone, or not Bone Witch, um, Storm Witch, finished that, and now I'm moving on to Wolf Witch, um, and that's about it. So, I will get going, because I don't want this to be massively long, that was like one hope, I was like, please don't be extremely long, um, because technically my thing cuts off at like 45 minutes. So, I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and you are making what you want to make and happy crafting so i will see you guys later um probably you'll see me in a couple days for vlogtober but next podcast will probably be in about two weeks so i will see you guys later bye